Hey everybody, we are here live in the Pace Studios in New York City. Uh, we're here today with the Steel Wheels. Guys, thanks for coming by and playing for us. Hey, hey absolutely. Thanks so you guys you guys have a new record out. Uh, it's called Wild As We Came Here. Uh, you're going to play a few songs from that for us today. Tell us uh, a little bit about the first song you're going to do. We're going to do a song called Scrape Me Off the Ceiling. Uh, it was the first sort of single off this record, and it's a bouncy little number. So <laughs> Great, take it away. Let's do it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, so you guys uh, hail from the the Blue Ridge Mountains area of Virginia, I believe. That's right. Um, and so you know, this the music that you play seems like a natural outgrowth of you know where you are from. I was wondering, were you sort of destined to play this very kind of American style of music, or did you arrive here at some other route? That's a good question. It's easy to look back and wherever you're at sort of say that it's destiny that we're here. Uh, <laughs> but I, I mean, all of us grew up singing some harmonies and and being in some way kind of influenced by some simple uh, four-part harmony singing. Um, but I'd say we all took different paths to get here. I think um, some of us played and Jay played in some metal bands and uh, Quite a bit of rock and roll. Brian and I met in a terrible rock and roll band in college, um, and yeah, I, I know Eric. Eric was maybe the most destined. What do you, would you say, Eric? <laughs> he's, sure, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. He's yeah. destined to go there after all. Yeah, right? grew up playing fiddle tunes. Yeah. 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 Um, so uh, tell us about the next song that you're gonna play for us off the record. Sure. Uh, this one is a um, a little bit. 
Well, this is a, a song about songs, maybe? It's, it's called Sing Me Like a Folk Song, and uh, it's, it's a coming together song, um, and maybe celebrating a bit the, the notion that we often, especially now, kind of need of getting together, yeah. whether it's around music or art or whatever it is. So, yeah, this one's called Sing Me Like a Folk Song. There's no worry in my hope There is no hurry Hold yourself Yes you can Open roads Broken plan Sing me like A folk song now High is the sky Deep is the ground Sing it out Round and round Sounds great, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Um, so I was I was reading about uh, how you guys made this most recent record. Uh, you did it fast. I'm, I sounded like in terms of the recording, um, but you also included I think some some more elements uh, in terms of like keyboards, maybe more involved percussion than than typically uh, or in the past. And you know I was wondering if if that's something you know in terms of the style of music that you play. Is it, is it ever confining and you're looking for ways to sort of broaden this template or is it just kind of what happens in the moment as you make these songs? I think in the past we were, we really liked the limitations of keeping things acoustic and uh, when we, we've never considered ourselves a, a straight ahead sort of bluegrass band even though a lot of the instruments we play can sort of tip its hat that way. Um, so we've always sort of said, hey, this is a more rock and song. How can we get a rock sound through these instruments? And that's a fun challenge and limitation to have. 
Um, but we've done that for a number of records. And so we were, this is the first record we've ever done with a, an outside producer. Mm-hmm. And we hung out with this guy, Sam Kassirer, who's a, an amazing producer up in Maine. Um, and he's a keyboard player, first and foremost. He's not coming at it from a string band background. And so when he listened and he heard uh, our songs, he was his ideas and, and ours together really just broadened the palette. And this for this project, we really wanted that. You did. Um, it was he wasn't you weren't resistant to. We, it was a very conscious choice. I yeah. mean, we it even ties into the title of Wild as We Came Here. You know, really pushing ourselves to see where our sound can go. And it's also grown us to to having a, a great percussionist and keyboard player on on tour and, uh, and that's Kevin who uh, has joined us on the road in this same season so uh, it's been an exciting time for us I think we've been we've been hinting at it in other records you know here and there we'll have a track that kind of pushes a little further but with this one it was the most fully realized right. for us in that sense cool uh, so so tell me a little bit about the uh, the next the next song from the record you're gonna do for us well we're gonna do the title track um, so yeah, this one's called Wild As We Came Here, and uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, I guess it's, it's a song that maybe comes out of a sense of, which a lot of people feel at this time, uh, a feel, starting with a feeling of anger, and where can we go with that, um, but hopefully uh, a hopeful sense of wildness coming out of it, maybe. All right. <clears throat> with anger Keep it wild for my daughter We've never been here before Two dollars an acre Won't make the papers Saw you crying across the room There was nothing that we could do We've never been here before What could we do? At two dollars an acre Won't make the paper
Wild as we came here Wild as we came here Let's go Started with anger Keep it wild for my daughter Thank you. That was really beautiful. Yeah, thank you. So I think we have uh, a special treat today for our fourth selection. You guys are uh, going to try a cover for us, uh, I believe, of the traditional, I think it's a traditional, uh, Spike Driver Blues, been done by some famous artists over the years. Jerry Garcia won. Mm-hmm. I think Doc Watson did a version of it. Um, yeah. what, what led you to, to this particular song? You know... Um when I first started getting into it, you mentioned before our roots in the Blue Ridge and, um, you know, I think as a lot of artists have, once you start to really dig into American music and you realize how much there is, uh, out there to hear, um, for me, it was that exciting moment of realizing all these treasures that I'd never heard. And Doc Watson was one of them. Um, but in the midst of that, I remember getting into Mississippi John Hurt a little bit and he's the first one I ever heard, uh, or the first recording, I should say, that I heard of this song. Um, But also around that same time, I got to see Doc play uh, at an outdoor venue in Virginia, and it just blew my mind. Um, And so I I definitely would put some of those as inspirations, but we've always sort of enjoyed taking some of those old songs and trying to make them our own and, uh, you know, try to pay tribute as respectfully as we can. (laughs) And I also, I believe that this is one of the first songs we ever played together when I hopped up on stage. That's true. With you. And, uh, That's right. The first time Jay and I met, I was opening for his band at the time, a band called the Goldmine Pickers uh, out of Northern Indiana. And I, I was playing solo and I said, Hey man, do you want to get up and play a few songs? He didn't know any of the songs we were doing. And, uh, after that, opening set we started scheming of ways that we could try to get together to play some more so yeah this has got some roots for us that's true sweet take it away
captain Tell him I'm gone Tell him I'm gone Tell him I'm gone Take this hammer Take this hammer Tell him I'm gone yeah. Tell him I'm gone Tell him I'm gone Take this hammer Take it to the captain Tell him I'm gone 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 Tell him I'm gone